Hey guys, Pogo here with a quick Eclipse tip. Uh, for those of you that don't know this, there's actually an incredibly helpful shortcut in Eclipse that allows you to see the decompiled source code of a particular method or class. For example, if I hold Command on my Mac and click on, say, Inventory, you'll see that it opens up this window that allows me to view uh, all of the information about a class, all the you know methods and source. This can be helpful for determining if you know how a certain method works. Of course, you wouldn't use this to copy anything as that's illegal. Uh, but if you just wanted to quickly check and see, does this method do what I think it's going to do? Does this method work the way I think it's going to work? This can be very helpful. But as you can see right now, this is not very helpful. We see this, and basically what we're getting here is the compiled bytecode. If I take a look over here, or let's find a class that's not abstract, like an async player chat event, as you can see in this constructor, all of this code right here really isn't very helpful because this is the compiled bytecode that the Java... Um, virtual machine will use to actually run the, pr uh, the program or the library. So what we're going to do is we're going to fix this so it will actually show code that is easily understandable. So what you're going to want to do is go up to help, then install new software, click add next to work with. For location, you're going to go ahead and type in this URL feeling.sourceforge.net slash update. This will of course be in the description and hit OK. As you can see, we get two things that show up, the Eclipse class decompiler and the SWT Win32 extension. We want to select Eclipse class decompiler, click Next. It's just going to get everything ready for us, and as you can see, uh, this Eclipse class decompiler is going to be installed. So go ahead and hit Next and accept both license terms, then click Finish. As you can see right now, it's going to go ahead and download um, the plugin and anything else that's required of the plugin, and then it's going to automatically install it. So you're just going to have to give this a little bit of time to run, but it is generally pretty quick and you can get a good uh, view of what's going on. Now, if you're in the middle of working, you can click Run in Background, and it will go ahead and put that down in the background. So if you want to look at it again, you can just click at the very bottom with that little bar, and then you will see the uh, installation progress. I'm just going to go ahead and pause this and, until it's done. Alright, so we've gotten a little bit farther, and I get this uh, pop-up right here. You want to go ahead and check that you trust the certificate. It's just making, just the computer, making sure that you're okay with everything here. And it is fine, so hit OK. It has now, at this point, finished downloading and it's installing, which, of course, will take a lot faster. Uh, as you can see, it's now done, and it asks to restart Eclipse, so go ahead and hit Yes. It will close out of Eclipse and open it back up. If you're wondering why there are two Eclipses, it's because um, it didn't, close out before it opens, so I have this one that's not actually opened, and that one right there, but no need to worry about that. So as you can see, it is now starting up. We can close out of the progress. And let's just give it a second. Now, if we go ahead and command click, you're going to have to give it one second to load everything up, and as you can see, uh, we now have very readable code. So now, at the top you can see the information about the plugin that was used to decompile, and then all of the uh, information. So in this case, the async player chat event, um, you know, contains all this information. Here's your constructor and, you know, your getters and setters, and you can clearly see everything that has been put in, and it's it looks very nice now. Uh, so that's all for this video. Just a fix for that class not found 
the thing that wouldn't let you take a look at the source. Again, don't use this to look at source code that you're not supposed to look at. Bucket is, of course, open source, so this is fine, but for the most part, you're not going to want to do this uh, because if the creator of the plugin or program does not want you to see the source, if they don't make it available, then they don't want you to see it, and you should not decompile it. As always, subscribe if you want to see more, comment with what you want to learn. If you like this video, click the like button, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.